in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. good morning my dear young people welcome to this adoration we are very reason to thank and praise god we have come to stay close to god the very fact that we have come to remain closer to god tells us that we long to see jesus we long to meet jesus we long to be in his presence i am sure that we understand that he is our source he is our strength he is our life giver therefore as we have come early this morning to hear his word to get his blessings let's open our hearts and minds invite the spirit of the lord to move all of us we need to open our hearts so that the word of god goes in our hearts we need to open our minds that we may not think in human way the worldly way but in god's way we need to think we need to do we need to act to do all of these things we need his blessings we need his presence we need his power therefore let's prepare ourselves to welcome him and mist of us my dear young people 
today for our reflection we have taken psalm 72 verses 18 psalm 72 verses 18 which says blessed be the lord the god of israel who alone does wondrous things blessed be the lord the god of israel who alone does wondrous things we know our own ability capabilities our own strength and weaknesses we know that we are able to do certain things we are not able to do certain things this psalm enables us to feel the beautiful things that god can make and god can do for us it is an expression of doxology this psalm it gives praises and thanks to god god's eternity and power is explained today we reflect today we reflect and see this psalm this psalm 72 18 what message can it give to us one message is sure from this it's god's uniqueness this psalm reveals about god's uniqueness we all of us are created in his own image and likeness we all of us have got a certain strength and power we all of us have got a certain ideas innovative ideas creative things to do what i can do that you may not be do what you are expert in i may not be so each individuals are given a different gifts but there is a uniqueness of god which no one else can do it's god alone can do that is the expression of this psalm blessed be the lord of israel who alone does the wondrous things he alone does the wondrous thing he alone can do certain things for example life giving and taking it belongs to him bringing life to the plants life to the earth it belongs to him these are the wondrous things only he can do we may be able to create certain things or we may be able to not create but to make things in the world do a great product of so many things but there are certain things which god alone can do that is what the psalmist says number one it's his creative power his creative power we can understand from book of genesis what a wonderful creation that he makes in seven days living non living moving not moving life plants water light everything he makes it's a wondrous things god's creative power such a creative power cannot be done by us we may have a certain ability to update in our own things that we do could be in our studies could our own technology could be our innovative things that we do it's an upgrading of the things that is available on this earth or with us but creating certain things belongs to god we all of us are moving forward in our life with certain dreams we have got a goal to achieve we work towards that we walk we run every day to reach that particular goal given to us that ability is given to us but the pushing the force the power is only from god we do everything but nothing happens or we have uh, we have prepared ourselves to go for an interview but all of a sudden something happens or we have prepared for our exam that you come blank that you have prepared yourself but you don't get through or certain things just belongs to god that's what the psalmist says so we cannot we cannot just overlook the things that are done by god we cannot just bypass it we need to praise and thank him as the psalmist did today therefore my dear friends every moment of our life we have a reason to thank him because such a wonderful things only he can do let's prepare ourselves my dear friends get his blessings get his blessings who does wondrous things every day in our life let's prepare ourselves and receive his power receive his blessings receive or feel his presence that as we go out 
he may be able to sustain he may be able to help us he may be able to guide us come my dear friends kneel down and get or receive his blessings of sirak chapter 48 verses 14 sirak 48 verses 14 which says in his life he did wonders and in death his deeds were marvelous i repeat in his life he did wonders and in death his deeds were marvelous my dear friends when he lived prophets or the kings or jesus himself when they lived they did a wonderful things even at the point of death their deeds were marvelous what we can learn today is this that through our deeds we praise in god through our deeds we express god's presence in our life therefore along with this word of god reflect this simple question that what wonders things has god done in your life what wondrous things has god done in your life you personally all of us have got done some of the things which we can cherish such a wonderful things reflect and praise and thank god yes young people as you go out to this face this world with this word of god we pray that this god's word may enrich and help you guide you to face the challenges that is ahead of you with god's blessings and prayers wish you all the best and success have a great and blessed day